at his man. He wasn't fading um, or you know getting away from the contact. He was going at the end. So you know, I think a lot of it, he's kind of been in his own head. You know, I've been in the same exact position. And I think tonight he just forgot about all that and just went out and played a little bit. What's the defense supposed to do when you guys are shooting like that? I mean, honestly, it's, it's hard to guard um, because inside, I mean, we're hard to stop already. Um, and when you can't help inside because we're hitting shots outside, I mean, it's it's a hard a hard team to beat. Um, so if we can do that, I mean, I think everybody really just played with a whole lot of confidence and stepped into shots like they were going to make them tonight. Um, and we knocked down a few. If we can play like that, I mean, we're going to be a hard team to beat. When it was flowing like that, I mean, how much fun was that? It's so much fun. I mean, when you see the ball going through the net, obviously it's a lot of fun. But whenever you see everybody playing with confidence, having some fun, I mean, that's that's what you play for. Is there, is there you guys starting to feel like a little bit invincible when you get going like that? You know, we feel like, obviously, you feel like nobody can beat you. Um, but when we play like that, I mean, it adds on to that a little bit more. Um, so we got to play like that. We got to keep on playing because we're about to play a really good Notre Dame team that got us one time in the season. So we got to get ready for them, but it, it feels good to be in the elite. Indiana was saying yesterday they wanted to run with you guys. They were pretty hopeful about that. When you hear that kind of thing, does that kind of pique your interest a little bit? You know, that's our game. Um, and teams in the past who have tried to run with this have not really been successful. Um, so, obviously, Indiana is a great team. Um, but they kind of played into how we play anyways. And I feel like we did a pretty good job of slowing them in transition. Because uh, we had some clip tapes, and they really like to get out in transition really a whole lot. Uh, so, you know, I think we did a good job of slowing them down, but still attacking them on the other end. What's the key to that, slowing them down? Just getting back? Just back. Um, you know, there's not really, you can't make any excuses to sprint back. They still got us a couple times, got some wide open shots and stuff like that. Uh, but you just got to sprint back. You know, no matter if you're going for the offensive rebound or whatever it is, you got to sprint back. So many whistles tonight. Was it hard to establish a flow to this game? Still scored 101 points, but there were a lot of whistles. You know, it, they called a whole lot of fouls. Um, they did. Uh, but I feel like we still did a good job of but still playing through it. Uh, you know, we can't worry about what the refs do. It just so happened they were calling a lot of fouls against them, so it was helping us out a little bit. Um, so obviously we were able to score during those slow times. But, you know, it can kind of take you out of your game a little bit with all, with all the whistles. You can't get out of transition and stuff like that. Uh, but you still got to play through it no matter what. At one point, I think you guys were 40, 45-29, 16-point lead, and Bryce and Joel had combined for four points at that time. What does that say about you guys and how much you We got a lot of guys. Yeah. A whole lot of guys that can come in and contribute on any type of night. Uh, Marcus came out and he started. I mean, the way he was shooting the ball, it was you felt like it was going in every single time he touched the ball, every time he touched it. So, you know, whenever guys come out and are aggressive, Nate played really well, Kennedy played really well tonight. Uh, so whenever other guys are contributing like that, I mean, we're a hard team to stop. In baseball, they say hitting can be contagious. In a game like this, when you guys are at a real high mental level, when someone comes out and hits threes like that early, can that be contagious to you? Um, I think so. I mean, you just feed off other people's confidence. Uh, Marcus had a whole lot of confidence going, which means you got to pick your game up as well. I mean, at the end of the day, you can't let your teammates down. Uh, so, you know, I think he really started off and everybody else kind of came in with a whole lot of confidence as well. Given Kennedy's recent struggles, how big a charge is it for you guys to see him play like this tonight? And to this point, the most important game of the year. <laughs> you know, it's, it's funny because I went through the same exact struggles. Um, and I saw in him today that he just kind of said, forget whatever happened in the past and went out there and played. Um, so when he plays aggressive like that, that adds a whole other dimension to our team. Um, so it was good to see him playing strong, playing aggressive. Um, we really need to keep that going. So Notre Dame, too.